Halo Infinite's multiplayer is damn near perfect. It's pretty much everything I've wanted out of a recent Halo multiplayer game, and it's capturing the magic and the fun I had back in the original trilogy and in Halo Reach. The gameplay, the gunfights, the sandbox maps, all of it feels very Halo, and it plays very well. There's just one issue I have with the game so far, and it has nothing to do with gameplay. It's the Battle Pass progression and the unlocks and cosmetic items you get. Now, with Halo Infinite being free to play, at least in terms of multiplayer, of course 3 for 3 has to do something in order to make money for Microsoft. You can't just get everything for free. And if you played the Master Chief Collection, then you know they have a Battle Pass system in there. And that carries over here. I think the Battle Pass system is probably one of the better ones we've gotten in recent years, or in recent games rather, because these Battle Passes never expire. So say you come into Halo Infinite six months down the line, and Season 2's out, but you wanted to work on Season 1's cosmetics, because you like those ones more. Well, you can select that Battle Pass, and all the progress you get will go towards that. That's a really good system, it's user friendly. This stuff doesn't expire, it's just a matter of when you're going to be able to unlock it. Which is all great and all, but the only way to get Battle Pass progression is through the challenges. Now after a few days they did release like a hot fix where there's a now daily challenge where if you play any match you get 50 XP and that always resets after every game. So keep playing games you keep getting 50 XP. So at least you're making some progress towards the battle pass there. But you're getting no battle pass XP for winning a game, being an MVP or doing other specific challenges. Back when Halo 4 came out, I spent a lot of time in vehicles just splattering people to get that green visor. There were specific challenges in-game that you could do to unlock certain cosmetics. I really liked that, and I don't know why Halo Infinite is skipping out on that in favor of just the battle pass and the store system. Why can't we have a mix and match of both? Now the customization in the game is really good, the only real issue I have is armor coatings. Like, a lot of the armor coatings do look really cool, but there's no way to customize those coatings after you unlock them. So in the base game, you have your generic, your blues, your red, brown, green, orange, those types of colors, but you're set on what that armor coating is. So at the base game, if you use Cadet Forest, which is a green and gray, that's what you're stuck with in terms of armor coating. There is no customizing the secondary or tertiary colors in there. So you have a base armor coating of green, and then pretty much all the secondary things are like a gunmetal gray, with no way to adjust that to make it like a black or a white, or if you just wanted some other color in there. Some of these armor coatings do look really cool, like the HCS Winter one that you get for free in the store. It's basically red, white, and blue, and that's like what I pretty much want out of an armor coating there. It looks really cool, it's got a nice blend of colors, but there's no way to customize it to a certain way. What's white is going to stay white, what's blue is going to stay blue, what's red is going to stay red. There's no way to customize these armor coatings. And if you are to buy one of the bundles from the store, say you were buying one of the MLG Team uh, armor coatings bundles, you are stuck with using that armor coating on that specific Spartan. You can't use that armor coating or that visor or any other options of that equipment anywhere but with that specific bundle. You can't mix and match, which I think is a pretty big miss. Now maybe all this will get changed in the future, but right now I think that's what they really need to focus on. Gameplay, balancing, everything seems really good there. Maybe the commando needs a buff, I don't know, or I just suck with it. And the customization options are really good. It is very much like Reach, where you can customize almost each individual piece of armor there. The main issue I have is the fact that a lot of these cosmetics are tied to a specific armor set. You can't mix and match and you can't really do anything with the armor coatings because once you unlock it, it is stuck as that color and there's no customizing that. Now I know 343 needs to make money, but it does seem that they are listening to the community and they, like I said, already implemented that hotfix where you get that 50 XP every match, I just think there's a little bit more you could do. Have some XP rewards for being the MVP, for playing the objective, for winning a match. No matter how good you do, you're getting 50 XP a match. Unless you complete some other challenges in there, but that's besides the point. There's no other challenges outside of the ones that you have for the Battle Pass that are going to give you any sort of progression in it. And I think that's the biggest flaw with Halo Infinite right now, is that progression is super slow. I love pretty much all the items they have in here. They're all, they all look really cool, they all feel like Halo. I just feel like there's more that can be done. 
Like I said, with playing the game for almost 20 hours, I'm tier 8. Typically in like, let's say, Call of Duty, if I play for 20 hours, I'm making a lot more progress than just 8 tiers. Because it's based on time played, or maybe how well you do. Halo Infinite doesn't have any of that. I think that's something that this game would greatly benefit from. If you go to the Halo subreddit, that's pretty much the majority of concerns right now, is the progression. Not to mention that most of the items you're going to be finding in the battle pass are just going to be challenge swaps. So items that you can utilize to get a different challenge just to progress the battle pass. It feels like there's not enough content in there that you're actually going to utilize. Not a ton of people are complaining about the gameplay because the gameplay is fantastic. It's fluid, it feels like Halo, it is great. I just think we need more options and avenues to level up the battle pass and other avenues of obtaining cosmetic items. Having in-game specific challenges to unlock certain things. Of course you're going to have those items that are locked in the store or locked in the battle pass and I have no issue with that. Some people are complaining about the prices of items in store but that's pretty much par for the course with every game that has an in-store shop. A character will be about 20 bucks or this specific item will be 5 or 10. Like. Maybe it's a bit much, but I don't see a real issue with that. I probably will not be buying too much from the store, I'll be buying the battle passes, but I'm not going to buy too much else in there. So I think that's Halo Infinite's biggest problem, the progression in the battle pass there. Of course there's changes 343 can make, and I'm sure they're listening to the community, getting feedback and doing what people want, but it's just going to take a little bit of time. Give some XP for being the MVP. Give more XP for winning a match or doing certain objectives. Give us certain unlockable items that are obtained by completing game-specific challenges. Capture this many flags total, unlock this armor coating. Get this many kills with the sniper, unlock this visor. Things of that nature. It's the little things that really matter to the community. The gameplay can be perfect, but if you have these egregious systems, people are going to be quite turned off by it. I love the game, I'm having a ton of fun with it, I just think that progression is a little lackluster right now. And that's definitely something 343 can tweak and tune to make it better for the community in general. What do you guys think of Halo Infinite so far? I'm having a blast playing it right now. Do you have any real complaints about the game other than the cosmetic items that you get in the store or the battle pass progression? Let me know in the comments down below there. Thank you guys for sticking around and watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheerio, mates.